everybody, I'm Joe Baylog, and I'm coming to you from the Intercoastal Waterway here on the east coast of Florida. This is wintertime, and it's sheep's head season. Okay, this is the time of year when sheep's head really come into these, these intercoastal areas, and they get around all the docks uh, and boat ramps and, and pilings and poles, and get around objects where they feed on barnacles and crustaceans, uh, and, and it becomes just a wonderful wintertime fishery uh, for a really tasty fish. Now I learned a whole bunch this year and this is the first year that I'm really going after these and I did so through the use of an underwater camera. was able to watch sheep's head do what they do and what I found is that they get around these objects that are that are famous sheep's head producers and they actually just go around and graze that's how they feed and they're not like a bass or a redfish or or, or another fish that ambushes prey these are fish that that feed kind of like a cow you know, when you let a cow out in the pasture, it eats in little spots and it moves along. Same with sheep's head. Rigged up for action. I've got just a knocker rig. Okay, that's that's as old school as it gets. The, the uh, sinker slides right down to the hook because as I pull this up to an object, my bait will then be right there. Okay, right pinned against that object like we like. Uh, I've, I've got about a 25 or 30 pound leader on here for for a little bit of abrasion resistance. And you'll hear people say they don't use circle hooks for sheep's head, uh, that the, that the you know, kind of the, the standard size hook or the standard shape hook like this octopus hook is better. Sheep's head have real tough mouths. They are kind of hard to hook, so my verdict is still out. But, but a small hook is what you want, something super sharp. This is a, a VMC, they're super, super sharp, you can see. And again, we're gonna pin this right up against the dock piling or right up against the wreck. Uh, and then as the sheep's head graze along and pick out all those savory morsels, ours will be the next one they pick. Here's our bait of choice. This is a sand flea, okay? Uh, and they don't necessarily have to be alive, but this one, this one's recently deceased. We get these on the beach. We actually go pick them out when we're surf fishing. Uh, and they're just a, a, a type of crab. They're actually a mole crab. Uh, and they stay on your hook real good because they have that real hard shell when you hook them up. They stay snugged up on that hook real good. Okay, so there you have it. You know, a little bit of, uh, of uh, use of the underwater camera and you can learn so many things about the habits of fish, and then you could fish the correct way for them. <laughs>